Hello, future people, current people. Hello. Hello, hello. I give us some time. Hello, guys. I'm put some gloves on. Hi. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, it's a lot of. I have a lot of good videos, a lot of content, a lot of tips and tricks in the videos. Kind of have to sort through them. Even back when I did acrylic. Okay. So, you guys. I wanted to do a, a haul. Maybe get this lighting a little better. Kind of a haul. I got my Daily Tom subscription box. I got some um, other goodies. So, I wanted to just show them to you. Now, warning. Warning. Um, if you wanted the... If you subscribe to the Daily Charm box. And you wanted it to be, be a surprise. You know... This is not how you let that be a surprise for you. Yes, this is for the Charm Box. So if you're unfamiliar with the Charm Box, it is a nail art subscription box from Daily Charm. Um, it comes like every two, three months. Either on the, if you go on the website, there's a link in the description. Um, it'll show you kind of the frequency if you want the subscription. You can buy this just straight up. It's a little cost more costly. Um, so, um, full disclosure, this is 59 if you buy it regular, 49 if it's the subscription. Um, and the whole thing, I'm sure, I mean, we're in the year 2023. You guys know how these type of subscription box works. You get a whole bunch of goodies um, worth a higher value for a lesser price. And it's just kind of fun seeing what you're going to get. Now, they do, um, if you haven't ever seen a reveal or haven't purchased one before they um generally have them themed out for whatever the season or upcoming holiday maybe so i have i don't know what's in here we're gonna find out together so i'm gonna put it off to the side I'm sorry for mixing y'all around we're good. Okay, I'm gonna put it off to the side. One, it has this cute, you already see, it's like a springy, Easter-y ish feeling. That comes with a card saying everything that's on here. I don't wanna look. <laughs> I'm very much, I don't wanna look yet. I wanna be surprised. So, I'm gonna just take this. Guys, what is this? <laughs> I mean, I know what it is. When I used to do uh, press-ons, which I don't do anymore, you know, you do it to protect it. But then you like when you're on the receiving end, you're like, I don't like that. Okay, so off top, we got some cute hair clips, and I like that they always do like a little bonus that's not directly nail related sometimes. So these are really cute, actually. They're like a matte flower, but we're not here for hair things. But there it is. So. First off, I see these, and this is a cute, this is their new um, Twinkle Twinkle. They're sparkly glass rhinestones. And um, this is a mix, looks real springy, similar to oh, the kind of stuffing stuff, <laughs> the stuffing stuff. Um, so it has like a, a light green, a light blue, a light pink, and is there a purple? I feel like I keep seeing purple, but not. So it's a cute little mix. And these crystals are really good quality. They're not the same as Swarovski or any that are akin to it, but they are high quality glass crystals. So if you're looking for, you know, kind of a, a good entry point where they don't look cheap and they actually do sparkle, but you're not having to invest, you know, as much up front, um, crystals like these are a good option because you will get better longevity out of them because they are glass. Um, they just don't have as intricate 
cuts on the crystals to be as sparkly. So next, you guys, I love nail stickers. These are really cute. They look like they're kind of um, transparent. Like the white is kind of like milky, if you will. So these are really cute, great for spring, depending on what you're doing. This would be great for like a, a nice, if you want something that's a direct, direct, direct copy, um, you can go to Blue Street Crystals and get their Serenity Crystals. Their Serenity branded crystals are going to be identical twins um, to the Swarovski crystals. So if you want that same quality crystal made, made in Austria with the 16 cut facets and that longevity, Blue Streak Serenity crystals. I don't have a link below because I didn't know anybody was gonna ask, but I do have a discount code for them. It's Tabitha, I believe, or Tabitha in the number five. I believe it's Tabitha. Try both. Look at an old video. <laughs> Um, so next we have another sticker sheet. Look at these. What are these tulips? Hi, Kelly. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lisa. Is it Tennille? Katie, hi. Coconutty, I love that name. So these are some cute stickers as well. Look at these cute little, little heart flower scenes. That'd be cute. You can put this on the nail, add some gold detail foil or like a gold um chrome around it very cute let's get into some of these little things these are always cute to encapsulate they're like these little metal charms i mean as you can see well not charms they're very bendable very malleable so you can contour and curve them um to fit the nail so just in the package you can see i'll bend one really extreme so you can kind of see you see, so you can put these on a brush and kind of wrap them just to get a slight curve, like I said, so they'll fit on the nail. These are really cute to encapsulate. You can put them on top, but you still need to put a good amount of gel on top of that. Now, this is a cute little, this is just a mix, <laughs> a wacky little mix of charms. I am tempted to pour them out. Now, this is what I don't know, I haven't looked on the card yet, is if you get this box, if your assortment of these charms will be the same. But I have these, I had a couple of these in the, this is kind of cute. This is very, this is drama, you know what I mean? Is the lighting okay? Hello. Okay, we got this little cluster, another little cluster. This I thought was a single thing. It's a whole little situation. <laughs> Green. Is this a charm? Yeah, what is this little sailboat? Yeah, so I think this is just a random kind of sweep up pile. Well, not literally, but you know. This, you, this is cute. This one, it has like that. Let me see how it looks on camera. You see that kind of blue line, that kind of moonbeam? I'm gonna call it that. Let me turn the flash on. This is really cute. Like I said, I don't know if you'll get these exact same ones in the box that you get. So let me um, waste time and stuff these back in here. A little cross. And all of these, I recommend, I don't know if it's in this box, but probably not. Um, this is very much used, so excuse the dust, but the um, Stay Put Jelly, Jewelry Gel in the Tube, absolutely love, recommend to hold on things like this, your crystals and um, things of that sort, all these charms. Also that their Seal It Up pen, I love this. I love it, especially for full bling nails. You can open it and squeeze it out up top, if you can see, or you can twist and open it and you have a brush. And you see, it's kind of overloaded because we flipped it over to squeeze, but it functions really well. Great for sealing around your crystals to make sure they last or your charms. 
So let's proceed with the box because I see this cute little set. Look at these, these are fun. They're like a, I thought they were transparent and they're not. Well, maybe those ones in the corner. These ones are. These are cute. These are transparent as well, I think. Yeah. These as well. No. Anyways. <laughs> so these are cute. Again, I would attach these with bigger charms and bigger, um, like crystals and things like that. I like to glue them first with like a resin or a high quality nail glue just to get them situated where they need to go. Then you can come around it with your um, stay put jelly, cure that, come around it with that, seal it up. I definitely recommend a three step process if you want longevity in your bigger crystals and bigger charms. Now, what is this? Hold on, y'all. This is a little, like, I just want this in, like, a jar. Hey, I'm Biscuit. I'm Biscuit. That's hilarious. All right? Like, this is cute. Just, like, in a glass jar, you, like, put some pens in it. <laughs> um, This is, like, an assortment of, like, looking... Sh Hold on. Let me get focused. Hopefully, y'all can see this. I want y'all to see this. You see, they have some of those iridescent shells type things in there, little beads. A little just like, I don't want to call I want better words for this. Somebody give me better words. <laughs> it's cute. It's like a, it makes me feel like you're at the, you know the store where you get all the crystals and you fit like 12 in a little bag and take it home. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Oh, now, what would I do with this, you ask? Nobody did. Um, I don't know, I answer. But <laughs> um, encapsulation seems appropriate given how um, chunky these pieces are. So that's how I would approach this um, with encapsulation. But I would sort it through. It's, it's so cute. It's so cute, just this mix. An assortment of jewels and crystals. Thank you. Hold on. Let me be more professional. This is an assortment of jewels and crystals, guys. How cute. In a great spring pinky tone color with an iridescent flare. <laughs> okay. So next we have this little assortment of charms as well. They seem to be resin type charms. Um, you see these little bows. They have like this iridescent effect. What are these? Some, some hearts, and I don't know what that is. Oh, some hearts still, two of them connected. So hopefully y'all can see that iridescence. And this one long little crystal just to, for a party, for a good time. What is this? These are like colored. You guys, what do we use this for? I don't mean, I don't say that in a mean way, like there's no use. I'm just literally like, what do we use this for? Like micro beads on the nail, just like some design work. So you encapsulate it in the nail. It's like confetti, not confetti, but sprinkles. These big ones. You're going to have to, if you apply these or micro beads in general, I definitely recommend gel to do so glue or resin is just not gonna hold up um if you want any type of longevity past probably a day or two <laughs> um so definitely would use gel with these and top coat over them they're not sparkly it'll probably protect the color i don't know what these are made of but um it wouldn't hurt so oh we have some look they are they are doing it to me now these are flat back, you see, so they're flat and then domed on the top. These are just balls round all, all the way around. Oh my gosh, you guys, is Lisette, is it Lizette or Lisette? Lizette, it's Jill Nail, she's on here. She's on here sometimes. Um, shout out to her. She did these like milk bath aquarium nails that just blew my spirit away. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
at all. But to, if you haven't seen it, check it out on Instagram. I'm so scared of aquarium nails. I tried like eight years ago when I first, before I went into nail school or just started. And I let it defeat me. I'm not going to lie to you. Don't, don't do that, guys. Don't let anything defeat you. <laughs> Look at this. When is this container, Daily Charm? Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen this container. Like, has a little dip in here. These are like, this top was not tape. These are just the shards of the iridescent type film. Um, I spent so much time in my nail career, especially early on when this was kind of more of a hotter thing. Not to say that this isn't a thing now. I spent so much time taking that paper and clip, clip, clip. So. Something like this is fantastic, especially for spring. All these colors, all these things, like, yeah, very cute. Dreamy fairy dust. This is, um, I like the mermaidy effect. Pink flashes a green. If you see, yeah, I see that flash. Tap them, we do not need you to open it. Well, here we are. You see it? Boom. So that's what that is. This is not an unusual thing, but if you want something to have it around, it's super cute. Yeah, that's really pretty. That's nice just on the skin, you know what I mean? Just kind of subtle. Act like these gloves are my, my blue glove skin. What is this? Oh, cute little flower. It's great for encapsulation as well. Would encapsulate these. Definitely would encapsulate this. Is this a must have? I would say, I would say keep this on you. Especially if you're a nail tech, you don't know what your clients are into. Yeah, I would keep this on me. There's a few things, you know, I'm telling you, keep it on you. Keep some chromes on you, some silver, some gold. Oh, yeah, exclamation point. A must-have. Yay. <laughs> Encapsulate this. This is cute. It's only one, but they have, like, a collection on the website as well. Again, this is all in the charm box if you're just pulling up to the scene. Um, you guys bear with me, the guys that's been here. The um, subscription box from Daily Charm is what we're going through right now. So... We got a couple few more things. Oh, mix oh, this is cute. This glitter is cherry blossom. Let me zoom us back in. Cherry blossom. It's kind of a mid-tone pink holographic glitter, sort of medium size, medium. It's not super fine, but not chunky by any means. I mean, there's never anything wrong with the holographic anything. On top of the nail, encapsulated the nail, mixed with gel on the nail, however you want to use it. Loose glitter. Super cute. Let's go back. Okay. We got a tool. Little pusher. The box. Okay. So the box, if you want to buy it one time, is $59. You can use my um, discount code um, for that box and the subscription box. Last I checked. Um, I know for sure on the single box, on the subscription box, when you first sign up, I believe for your first subscription will come off. So you can buy it independently, 59. You can buy it, um, as a subscription and you'll get it, um, every, I believe it's every two months. Don't quote me on that. On the website, they'll have a chart and it'll tell you, um, and it's 49. So it's $10 cheaper. And like I said, um, on that first box, you can, um, use that discount code. Like I said, you can buy it by itself or not. So this is a tool, a pusher tool, scraper. It's pink, it's cute. If you're in the pink, I'm not really a super pink girl, personally. But that's just my story. Um, this is one of the, I like these files, especially for personal use, um, especially. They're like the glass, they have that kind of texture, that glass texture. Um, so this is good if you are like a person with nice, cute, natural nails right here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay. 
So I've been wanting to try one of these a while. It is a nail art pen. I've seen these. I actually have a white one. This one is not in the box. This white one is not in the box. This gold one just came in the box. So there you go. Don't tell them people like, why didn't you get the white one in the box? I mean, unless they're doing a variety now. Maybe some people get some colors. Who am I? What do I know? So this was really cool. I can tell you I've used the white one just playing around earlier. And the tip is really fine. It's not super mega fine. Um, this is just on the glove, of course. But you can see kind of how small this is. And you may have seen these before. Some people use them. So when you first get it, you're going to want to press it. My skin, not, don't use your skin, guys. I thought I was just tough as I wanted to be. Don't use your skin and press it in and let that ink kind of come down. And then you can use it. And I love this. Um, I have to practice with it to kind of get my bearings. But using a pen or pencil is more natural for us. So I expect in um, nail art, you might be able to do some things easier with these. Um, like I said, this one isn't in the box, so got that separate. This one is in the box, the gold. I think it's a, a nice color gold. It's not too yellowy, too cheesy. Um, so, yeah, I think it's a nice gold. What do you guys think? Have you used any of these? Let me know. So, I think what's left here, yeah. Our last two items are going to be gel polishes. So let me get a swatch stick. And that's in this box. I have more haul, just in case you're concerned, that are separate things that are not in the box that I received. So stay tuned. Let's see, stay tuned for more Spine Tingling Adventures, guys. So, this is part of their new collection, uh, their color changing polishes. Um, they go to like a light whitish color to the color you see. I have a, um, a box collection. Now, I only have clear swatches, so... Uh, pardon me. <laughs> they can kind of mislead you into how the coverage will be on the nail. Then also with these tips, it's very, very curved right here. And if it's not buffed, polish will separate. Anyways, so this is that color apricot chiffon. I'm going to put in the light to cure it. Like I said, it is mood changing or you know temperature reactive so hopefully in the light it'll kind of switch on us so we can see how that's gonna go the next color is lucky sunstone and this is also a part of a new collection they have and i have the rest over there so we can see all six of them again the rest aren't part of the box these are the subscription box so this one is lucky sunstone it says s29 and these are twinkle flash iridescent gels, which means they're gonna have that reflective property to it. But they're also, um, God, this is so pretty, guys. Um, they're also going to be iridescent. Is this, I don't think there's a holographicness to it. Yeah, it's just kind of iridescent. Again, this swatch is, well, let me get on camera. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna do two coats again. Clear swatch. But look at that this far. You see? So it has that reflectiveness to it. We'll put it in the light. Okay, then let's get back to our temperature changing one. So it's been in the light, which means 
had some warmth. You can see the color kind of coming back or unchanged around the edge. So this is gonna mean when it's on the body, you're probably gonna get an ombreish effect because we have warmth on the nail that is attached to our body right here. And this part is gonna be free hanging. So this will stay that um, cold color, or in this case, that peach. And this area will generally stay kind of um, that warm color, which is gonna be that kind of whitish color. Um, now, of course, when you go outside, inside, wash your hands, that's gonna vary, but you know, you guys know how these work. So we're back to Lucky Sunstone. And I'm gonna do a second coat really quick. This isn't my best polishing, guys, so. So see this? This is really pretty. I can honestly say I think this is prettier in real life than on camera, but I mean, it is real pretty on camera. Just the dimension, all the iridescent flakes. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all. I think because the flash is on. Let me turn the flash off. Okay. So you see it. All that iridescentness. This is with the flash off. And let me turn the flash on. And you see how it's reflective now. And you get those cute kind of highlighted pieces. This is a cute mix. So that is the Daily Charm Box. The Charm Subscription Box. The Charm Box. <laughs> um, and that's everything that's going to come in it. Let's look. I always like to look on the card after. Just to kind of see. Yeah, Pastel Bouillon Bees. Boom. Yeah, that was the charm mix. So the mix of crystals you're probably going to get. Okay, so for the Aurora paper, um, these slivers, they say it's unlimited. So and just, just know that. Okay, so these are the bonus items, those petals the clips and the little pearls so yeah you guys i definitely and the i mean you can go you can literally check the math on this if you go to their website and try to buy um i mean these right here if you buy both of these these are 18 a piece so that'll be 36 dollars with just getting these two so the whole box like i said for subscription is 49 to buy one time is 59 so you can see where the rest of that how the those savings are and like i said it, if you go to this i don't know i think it's cute the concept is cute um i love when i get it i love to show y'all because i think it's so exciting You're just like i don't know what i'm gonna get but it's gonna be cute <laughs> So let's go into the rest of this haul. And this is just some um, Daily Charm orders that I've gotten since the last time we've talked. <laughs> just throw on that. So kind of going along with this floral spring theme. Oh yeah, and on the card in the charm box, they give you some ideas of how to use some of the stuff. So you can see how that pen was used, those stickers, you know what I mean? Did, did they use those things that I was confused about? Not so much. Um, yeah, so you can kind of get an idea also on how to, to use those things. So let's get into a regular haul. Y'all still here with me? Y'all want to see the rest of this? Let me know so I can go eat the rest of my Chick-fil-A, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, um... These are the new um, Daily Charm cuticle oils. Well, they're 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 semi new. Um, they're cute for spring. Got the out of flowers in them. I like them. I've been using these with clients actually. Um, I always like to make sure there is no mineral oil 
you know, petroleum in your cuticle oil. This will help um, make sure, well, let me say it this way. Mineral oil and petroleum can cause lifting or help lifting to kind of happen. <laughs> That's what caused me. So. Um, so please stay away from cuticle oils with those ingredients in them. Make sure you get a quality one that has, you know, natural oils and things like that. So you can kind of see if you can, you got olive oil, uh, vitamin E, there's a variety of things. Anyways, so, <laughs> um, I like these. There's a variety of scents with them. I'll tell you which one I like the best. I think it's the peony. Is it that or the rose? One of these kind of smelled like um Chloe perfume. No, this this smells really this true to rose. Um if you it's not overly rosy, but some people like rose, some people don't. I think the peony is my favorite scent. But it they all three very smell. Um of like just that natural kind of flower smell it seems much more authentic i don't know the lily smells good too it smells kind of grandmotherish but not overwhelming in a good way in a warm way in a nice way i don't know maybe it's because my granny grew flowers so <laughs> um so let's look at this cute little box let me show you these Okay, you guys tell me if you want me to swatch these. These are all going to be those same Twinkle Flash um, gel. So this is Lucky Sunstone, the one we just recently swatched from that charm box. Um, and there's six total in this collection. These are the other five, of course, that we hadn't swatched or seen. So let's go in numerical order. This is gonna be Snow Opal. Always tell me, let me know if you want me to swatch these guys. I'm going for it. <laughs> this one's really pretty. <laughs> this would be great for like a, to add it to like a opal nail. I mean, it's called Snow Opal. Jeez. Yeah, that's really pretty guys. And it has that kind of reflective effect. So this is Snow Opal, guys. Right? Look at this. And you could and kind of enhance this right here for like a, a quick opal situation. So um, Daily Charm has a color called Milk Bath. Ooh. My bottle is used and abused. I'll show it real fast. And it's a milky white color, transparent-ish white color. So you could put this color down, put a, add a little of those kind of flakes or those things that we just, those shards, you know, a variety of, of those type things. You know what I mean? Like these. Add a little bit of those onto here. Some of some things like these. Cover it with that milky color. And just kind of enhance the opalness of this all. I haven't tried it. Imagine it'd be cute. You might take away the or top it with this. I don't know, guys. I'm just throwing it out there. But it's really pretty. Look at that. I said it before. The orange and opal really makes it. I would like to add a little blue. Anyways, nonetheless, <laughs> I got lost in it. So snow opal. Boom. So. We will I'm gonna wipe and move. So next star moonstone. And this has like that gold reflective 
reflective iridescent type color it is reflective <laughs> You can see it has a more gold effect than that snow opal. This is really pretty as well. Right? And you see how that ref oh. But you know when people are like, oh, you know, you don't walk around with flash on your nails. But the way that reflective catches the light in general makes it much more dimensional. Um, not just these, but reflective polishes and glitters in general. So you don't get that extreme, you know, effect, but it does help, like I said, with how the light bounces in different situations and just makes it just look more um, pretty. <laughs> so yeah, this is Star Moonstone. So let's go on to the next. The next would be that lucky um, sunstone, that peachy color right here that we have swatched. So next we'll go into Angel Quartz. Do they contain jojoba? Let's see, let's see. Olive oil, macadamia. I don't know, crumb babe, Seneca seed, exclusive argon. Um, I don't see jojoba. Now, here's the thing: if it's called more of a technical name, you know, if it's secretly olifera oil, sometimes it's that you know things like that. Like, tocopherol acetate is vitamin E oil, you know what I mean? So, here you can see everything that's in it. You can take a screenshot. It has some pretty good ingredients, um, honestly. Things that I know what they are and slightly know what they are. So, yeah. I've been liking it with my clients. So, Angel Quartz. This is going to be a lighter pink. If you are a pink girl, you will love this. Again, that same iridescent effect. Pinky is definitely more of a cool tone pink to me. Um, leans kind of purplish in a way. Still very, very pretty. I don't know, this one, something about the way this one looks overall. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Again, that's that Lucky Sunstone one. And this right here is Angel Quartz. Yeah, it is cute. Me neither. Because it's not overwhelmingly pink. It's like the pink more so comes from like an iridescent effect. Then like directly like pink. Okay. So I'm really excited about these last two. I mean, I'm excited about it all. The whole collection's cute. Um, but this is a, I know there's some purple heads out there. <laughs> Water amethyst. Uh, this is definitely more blue tone purple. Very much so. So let's swatch this one. Oh, this one's so pretty, guys. Look at that. Go run. Run and get this, guys. Come on. Because I'll, see, I'll post stuff on here and do these hauls and then people will be like oh i'm trying to get the whatever you use whatever you showed and then it'll be sold out so don't be that person <laughs> look at this this is so pretty this i wish i had a better word better sentence besides this is so pretty this is beautiful this is gorgeous this is Fantastic. Oh, let me move this. Okay, so we're on the clear swatch, so we kind of see how that plays here. I'm gonna look at that. Again, this is water amethyst. And I'll go ahead actually and commit to this swatch. We'll do two layers. This is pretty.
This is cute, kind of like how it is, kind of sheer on the clear nail. Not gonna lie. Anyways, let's put that in the light. I promise I know better words than this is pretty. So this one is Sky, um, is it Celestine? Celestine, Celestine. <laughs> Sky Celestine. I'm convinced the C is a C, you know. <laughs> Look at this. This one's pretty as well. Y'all, in real life, this is... I need the source.com. This is gorgeous. Right? Look at that. I'm going to do a whole swatch of this one as well. The opal effect is really banging in real life. It really is. It's not so subtle. It is much more kind of in your face. Yeah, guys. These, like of like the Daily Charm kind of effect polishes. These are some of my favorite. They are reflective, but they have that opal effect. I'm gonna put this in the light. And I'm gonna do a second coat on the water amethyst one, the more purple toned one. And just so I can see this at kind of more coverage, more opaque. And then I, just because of the nature of these, I feel like they would look good over a um, a base color as well. If you wanted to kind of add another tone or another dimension to them, and this is gonna be that blue color, that sky, um, whatever, however you say that. <laughs> Yeah, the opal is for real with these. They're kind of iridescent effect again. They're flesh. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, get this, guys. Because she, the person that commented above you, is going to try to get it first. This is a little holographic. No, it's not holographic. Ooh, look at that. I feel like we could just sit here all day. So yeah, the this whole collection is fantastic. These don't even have a top coat on them. I think it'll kind of enhance it. See, now a little top coat. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It might not be as obvious on camera, but just putting it all behind that gloss, it just kind of livens it up even more. So again, look at that. Okay, so boom. <laughs> That's cute, those are cute. So the last two are gonna be Water Amethyst and Sky, you know our name. Yes, of course, Ellie. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, let's try this out. That Lucky Sunstone. This is that mood changing color, but it's kind of similar. So let's see. Yeah, so this definitely works. It has enough sheer to it. I say, you guys, I always have a Daily Charm discount code, unless this is like in the future and we're beefed out or the world has ended or something. Um, <laughs> so tab of the 10, you can see it's T-A-B-Y is in yellow, T-H-A-1-0. Let's get your discount. So you can see how this looks on a base color. I'm curious now, let this mood change and see how it looks over the white effect. Anyways, so we're here. So the next collection I have, here's the thing. I don't know if this will be as like exciting to swatch, honestly. 
so it's the mood changing collection now of course um as mentioned there is a gel that we swatch it's that color changing one the apricot apricot chiffon because you can see how it looks when it's starting to turn white you can kind of see where there's more pigmentation on the gel and not i didn't polish this the best but this could be cute over that they kind of coordinate honestly um well well no kind of slightly whatever anyways <laughs> so yeah that water amethyst so i'm i want to show you these colors they all change to basically that same kind of whitish color this color it's not super stark white it's not really yellow is you know what i mean so they're all gonna basically change to that. So I'm just gonna show you the um, the cold color. So when it's warm, it turns into that white tone. And when it's cold, it's gonna be this color in the bottle. So this is Pink Cupid. This is definitely a more purple tone pink. Oh, Y'all. Y'all, they trying to test me. Echeveria elegans. Echeveria elegans. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I did it some justice. Um, anyways, this is cute. <laughs> this is um, a color that I feel like my mom would wear. Thank you. I don't mean to say that anything negative about my mom. <laughs> so again, this is going to be the color when it's cold, this green color. And when it's warm, it's going to turn into that. Well, now it kind of got warm um, into like a kind of a slightly off white, kind of a more bone white, if you will. I'll go with that bone white. We have heavenly blue really good medium tone blue it's pulling more purple on camera to me what i can see on screen so just be aware of that it is kind of a more uh country blue makes me think of my grandmother it's weird and this is what was this one see i can say this heavenly blue coral sunset now they hit me with this what is this Lavenite Petite. Lavenite Petite. Lavenite Petite. Lavenite Petite. I'm going to go with that. Let's go with it. Put a thumbs up if we're going to go with that. Or if you know. Echeveria Elegance. Lavenite Petite. So, I don't know what they're trying to do with me with these names. But this is a lavender color, as you can see. I'd say by its name. I don't know what what that means. <laughs> so this would look cute. I think it would look cute. Yeah. With that water amethyst. If this was like a base color. I said if you want to layer these, that'll be fun. Whatever tickles your fancy, honestly. Um, but it does kind of coordinate with that. So again, this will be when it's warm, it'll be like a bone white color. When it's cold, it'll be the color you see here. So these um collections, both this mood changing collection and the twinkle collection the new one um because they have some other twinkle gels just let it be known they do and so many of them are beautiful um but this is probably my favorite um so you can get it as a collection as long as it's available or you can purchase these individually you can get the charm box and you'll get that one in there as well that um lucky sandstone sunstone um same with these collection individually whichever you want to do are these these boxes are cute they're new and they're cute boom again i got a one of the white pens and that came with those items um when i for the order they don't come with it you know what i mean so some older items that I got. 
haul them. And I'm not sure. This is not everything. I got this a while ago. This box. Um, so, you know, I've used some stuff in here. So, um, I did not just get these. I set them in that box. But this is some nail stickers on there. <laughs> on the website. I didn't just get them. They came in, I think, the Halloween box, actually. The subscription box. So, I got this. And this is, you can see the metallic watercolor. I've been wanting to get this for a while, and I finally um, did it. Um, and I finally have not used it also. <laughs> Um, but you can see that would be great for a variety of like marble applications, um, like some flower work and things like that. Um, so yeah, haven't used it. Excited to do so when I do so. <laughs> but look at how cute. There's a variety of colors, a gold and a white. You can see everything that's here, but they're all metallic. I would like to get a regular one as well. These are really cool. I haven't tried them, but they're really cool. Um, I want to go ahead and try one if you want me to here on camera. So what this is supposed to be is a sticker that will be a um, transfer, if that makes sense. Like a foil transfer. Let's do it. I'm going to do it. Let's do it together. So let's do a base color of something. I don't know. Let's go with this blue. I just pulled out this Madame Glam color. Look at that coverage. You guys, I love Madam Glam. Tell Madam Glam why, why don't they love me anymore? <laughs> Look at that coverage. Boom. Okay. Oh, I dropped that smooth in my lap. That's what I get for talking crap. And that rhymes. <laughs> that don't look so bad. Okay, so we'll put that in the light. In the meantime, what is what's the name of what? This color or these? Because this color is called Blue Monday. So let's find a foil. Let's see what I have on hand. I have this. But I feel like I need something that's gonna stand out more against the blue. I got this gold kind of situation. I don't know, it feels too busy. What should I use? I use this rose gold. How about that? Okay. So where are my tweezers? I need to get, Daily Charm has these fine little needle nose tweezers and I look at them, I look past them, I'm like, what do I need those for? And it's always for situations like this. So I'm gonna wipe off any tacky layer that this gel has, just in preparation of the nail sticker. Let's go with, um, See, I feel like these are going to be hard, so let's... I don't know how they're going to come off. Just as a nail sticker situation. Right? Well, hold on. How do I use this? <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay, somebody screenshot this. We got an iPhone. You can screenshot this. You can copy it, you can paste it, translate it for me. <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, so let's do something. Okay, so this comes apart. And I'm like, am I going to have to like peel each individual piece? Or do I just set it on a nail and transfer it like that? Like a tattoo? Like a tattoo. No. 
Maybe. Well, shh. hold on. Is it sticky? Are you guys? I need a clue. Oh, hold on. I think I got a clue. I think this is it. So this will probably be better. If this does work to cut this out. <laughs> Let's try it properly. Let me, okay, one, stop touching them all and cut it out. Now, if you guys have any suggestions, if I'm like going down an obviously wrong path, uh, let me know. But this is what I have deduced because how else will you use this? Honestly. So I'm going to set it. And forget it. No, I'm just set it. And press it down in hopes of getting this to transfer to the nail in one piece. Oh, I thought I did it. Did not successfully do that. Now this, I can imagine, would be much easier on the one that doesn't have a variety of pieces. But also, I don't know if this is going to work at all. So let's... Now, I could also try to math this down um, because it's just that the um, they're not sticking. I'm gonna cut some foil. I'm gonna see what we have, if what we have thus far will transfer. Okay, so you're supposed to, per this, be able to just transfer straight up over it, so before I keep oh yeah okay it does oh cool okay so if done properly this could be really cool but here's the thing now you guys some of these stuck on the back you see how it's half the heart Oh, it deals me. Oh, my God. Let's redo. Oh, man. That flicked in my eye. Oof. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to buff this off. I want to try it. Um, I want to... Well, maybe this buff will do. Let's see what this buff will do. Because I know the other ones will more than likely be easier. The ones that are in one piece. But I'm also assuming that. So let's try again. Let me see those comments. What do I think of duck nails? I think that if you like them and you have a nail tech that'll do it for you, then... Go, on, go ahead then. Um, I am currently not the nail tech for that look. Like I said, if you find you one and you like them, you know who am I? You like what you like. So let's try this on a buff surface. And see if we have a better situation, a better transfer over. It seems like we do. Look at that. So boom, off top. Buff surface, I haven't tried matte, but buff surface seems the way to go. This is very thin on here also, guys. So let's try it. We're gonna put the, let me get a frame here. Right, yay. So let's set this and I'm gonna rub it. Now, what I don't want to happen this time is for it to come off with the, I'm just kind of patting it, you know. I do a little, I'm scared, guys. What a feeling. No, it worked. I think, 
Yay, it did work. Look at that. Okay, boom. Awesome, look at that. That did work. I just put that mark through there. That was my fault, through that center part. I just did that. But nonetheless, look at that. It did work. So, one, I imagine these um, would be one. You see? These would be fantastic. I wish I had other designs as well. They have a third set. So, they have this one, this one, and a third one. I can't remember what it is, but I guess I didn't feel like I wanted or needed that one. Um, this one is some lips and some drips. And I've never done lip nails, but I really like the drips. But maybe. These are cute as well. Especially, I think, more so these. You can kind of play with these and line them and kind of enhance them or leave them as they are. Um, maybe fill in this negative space once it's on the nail. Um, with something, you know, maybe make it 3D or, you know, I don't know, guys. It's your world. So I got those and that was, you see my first time using it and I think they're pretty cool. So try it on a remove tacky layer, try on a buff surface, potentially a matte surface, a matte gel cured. Make sure the matte doesn't have any tacky layer, but of course test it out before you're, you know, working on a client or working on yourself where you're trying to commit. <laughs> And then I also, I actually, where is it at? I have been using this. Look at this little brush stand. How cute is that? This is just literally to hold the brushes on. To make sure, you know, they're not rolling. Because, you know, of course, for, um... For some art techniques, you know, you may need multiple brushes, multiple tools. So, you know, you can just have them on hand, you know, if they're different colors. Because I will just keep them like this, just over here doing their own thing. And I try to be, be um, conscious of using that. What did I also get? I got some more of this. I don't think this is the new one. But this foil is probably the most eye-catching gold foil. Um, especially compared, it's the um, crisp foil. They have it in a few colors. They're usually out of the plain gold. I couldn't imagine how beautiful it is. The champagne gold crisp foil. I said it's it's... So much more beautiful than the regular gold foil, in my opinion. So, I got some more of that. I also got, um, I've already started to use them. I got some more transfer foil gel. Um, I got the brush on nail glue as well. And to help with, I mean, to help to use it. Um, what it says for nail tips. Um, I've used it to kind of hold down. As I mentioned earlier, those bigger stones. Um, I got the matte gel, the diamond shine. So I think, I think that's it, guys, of what I've recently received from Daily Charm or got or, you know. I'm trying to look around my, my desk area. Cause like I said, one of these boxes I got a while ago, so I slowly kind of pulled things out um i'll tell you the mat as well yeah the mat which i absolutely love their mat as well there's some good mats out there that i really do love that oh i also got more um micro beads bullion beads whatever you call them the gold ones um these are the 0.8 size um is it millimeters I believe so anyways so um this is my preferred size just if you want to reference um for working with crystals 
and um, kind of making it look like jewelry. What e file do I use? I um lately been using a couple different ones. I've been using the um Zippy. They look super. They're not. They're not super tiny. I think, like I said, I think they look good compared to like the average size of crystals. Your size five, seven, nine, twelve, sixteen. I think these look good. Put on those kind of conjunction points. If you kind of look at my crystal beadwork, I think another side would be too big. Um, you know, but it's your world. Whatever, whatever you're feeling. So this, I've used the zippy. Um, from Ellie, I um, my fault. Mine has a little bit of a oopsie daisy issue, but it is a very high quality e file. Um, you know you're gonna have to pay what it weighs. You know what I mean? Um, it's very similar to like a Medi Cool file, M E D I C O O L, which is to me a very it's the e file I started my nail career with. Very high quality. I did an oopsie on that one. I dropped that one uh, many and plenty of times. Um, lately in the meantime, since I don't have my zippy, I've been using this, this Melody Susie file. Hey, Brazen. Um, and it's very, very used and it's the smoothest. You guys, I've referred some Melody Susie files to you. This is the smoothest Melody Susie file and they'll engrave it to you, for you. So this is my name, <laughs> but like I said, it's used, um, I have it. I wasn't prepared to show you guys this file. So it's dusty. It's been used. The bits have been used. So don't judge me. I'll show you if you promise not to judge. Your girl's really a working nail tech out here. So again, it's the this one. Like I said, it looks it looks rough. So, let me show you guys why I've appreciated this. Because, okay, so let's look past all this. Um, so, it does, and I've got an acetone and everything on this. Um, so, it does have these holes right here so you can set your bits into. It has six of them. So I just kind of go with my most common bits, you know, disinfect them, sanitize them, have them here, use them throughout the service. Um, the actual, is my mom here? I don't think my mom is. Yeah, no, I haven't seen her on here. Um, vlogs, I've thought about vlogs. I'm like, are you interested in the nail tech life? Because... And I'm not doing nails. I'm a whole, I'm a whole human out here. <laughs> so this, the e-file sits in it. As you see, I kind of tilt it up so you can kind of be level with it. So the e-file sits in. This is rechargeable, guys. So, right? And I think it's the, like I said, I wasn't prepared. It's like the Conan or something like that. I'm not sure if I still have a discount code with Melody Susie, guys. Um, but you can always try a code Tabitha. Um, if, see if it'll give you a discount. You know? <laughs> um, but this one is probably, it's honestly their most costly one on the website. Um, and it is their nicest one to me, in my opinion. It really rivals like the feeling in my hand. And when I push put this on the client's nails, the um, vibration that it lacks is fantastic. The handle piece that's not too heavy. I like the fit in my hand. It's very comparable to me to like the, I mean, not in its look, but in its performance. It's very comparable to a high quality, like I said, the Medicool, the Zippy. Um, I haven't had a Koopa. I chose against the Koopa when I had a um, fellow classmate when I was in nail school. She had the Koopa Manny Pro and um, another classmate had the um, the Medicool. Um, and I got to compare them kind of side by side before purchasing. And I found that the, um, 
I preferred the medical, especially the hand piece, the weight. It wasn't as big around and it wasn't as, um, yes, I will. Thank you, Brazen. Did I have to do an e-file course? What do you mean to like in nail school or to get this e-file? Neither, I wouldn't tell you neither. My e-file skills are very much self-taught and from YouTube University over the years. Um, just kind of seeing what works, what doesn't, tips and tricks from here and there. Um, but yeah, she doesn't look as cute. I cannot remember the cost. So I don't want to tell you off the top of my head because I can be I can be wrong. But it is their most costly one. But man, definitely. Let me turn it on so you can see. There's nothing in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is also a cool feature, feature too. I like, I find that I use this often. So you're like, why does it look like that? And it has that whole, it didn't explain it to me, but I find like I can leave my e-file on. And if I need to like pull out my hand file or brush or something, um, I could just set that file in there. And it's still on and going, but you see that hole allows for that bit to kind of sit there without scraping anything. So, like I said, if I'm in the middle of doing a client and I'm like, oh, I need to knock this off with a hand file or something, kind of set this here, leave it on so I don't have to go in and out, you know. It's a little time that counts. You have forward and reverse. Like I said, it is rechargeable and cordless, but this isn't really a compact e-file anyways that you would probably carry around. Not that you would probably, like, you know, something akin to this. This has, you know, you can put this on the pocket on the hip. If you operate that way in your business, um, you can. But, yeah, so this Melody Susie said, I'm not sure if I have an active discount code or not. You can always try. You can look at, like, one of my older regular videos and see if I have a link through there and all that, like I said. But, yeah, that's the e-file I'm currently using, if you want to know. And the... um. While you're at, I love this dust extractor. The Melody Susie dust extractor is very affordable. Um, and for the price, I think it's very efficient, especially when you consider ones that are hundreds of dollars. This is nice. Depending on the coupon code, the sale, the deal, Melody Susie is good for like packaging and bundling things. Um, so you may find a good deal with getting multiple filters, an e-file, the dust extractor, some bits, things like that. So check them out if you would like. Um, what else did I get recently? Oh, I just got some gold little flat back little whatever studs. <laughs> and these, oh, I thought I was gonna do something with these. These hearts, these Swarovski hearts. Um, Daily Charm still has some Swarovski items so you you know people that have Swarovski in stock you can still purchase um but these are like they're that enamel color it's not too sparkly or anything you know this one's flipped over these aren't flipped so it's not really making waves visually <laughs> so you guys um everything besides the Melody Susie stuff you can get at Daily Charm but I find I have to repurchase um these wipes, my favorite wipes. <laughs> and we purchased those the most. Acetone, alcohol. Okay, yeah, the bits. The bits aren't, you know, like you said, the bits could be better, honestly. But if you're starting out, if that's all you have on hand, you know, I can definitely get the job done. So this is exactly what you said. Yeah, you know, if you want a lower entry point to a file situation, I think Melody Susie is good. Is it going to be a lifetime e-file? No. Um, but it'll, you know, it'll get you through some time. You know, there's some people with some mixed results as far as the longevity of their machines. Definitely want to take care of them. Understand and recognize if you're not doing what you need to do to take care of them. I acknowledge that. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. But I think for the price, the quality, um, it's fantastic. I haven't had any issues. I haven't been using that one. Um, I think it's called Conan. It starts with a K. So if you look on the website, I think it's K-O-N. I mean, it looks unique, so you're not going to miss it if you go on the Melody Susie website. But the vibration between like the, um, the Sparkle Pro and um, the one that I'm currently using, this one is just vastly 
different. This is, this feels very, very professional. Just like in its use. It turns up again. I'm trying to show you the screen. It turns up to 35,000 RPMs and it has kind of the power to back that up. So you're not at 35 and you press down and it slows up. It's a good 35. And it shows you the battery life um, if you're in forward or reverse. So it's in forward right now. And it's not too loud. That was on 35. And the vibration is just fantastic. But that's not what we're here for. But yeah. So you guys... Um, links to the, um, charm box or daily charm in general below, um, discount code Tabitha one zero Tabitha 10. Um, if you are trying to shop, get that water amethyst because I know home, like I said, there's somebody on this list that's going to, they're going to buy them out. <laughs> um, it's a very beautiful color. Um, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one classes, I do one-on-one -on -one virtual and in person, I'm in the Dallas, Texas area. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one classes, um, you can go to my website, tapascottnails.com. We got it just named now. Um, so tapascottnails.com, it's in the description bar as well. Um, we can do one-on-one -on -one virtual. You can ask me questions. I can demo for you exactly um, like this, except it'll be just me and you, and I'm showing you answering questions, telling you, you know, the processes, maybe tips and tricks, lighting, marketing, pricing, um, nail artifacts, best products and things like that. So if you want to get a virtual one-on-one -on -one class where you want that attention to answer your questions that you have, definitely check it out. There's a, also a 10% discount on my website. Also tap to 10. So, um, if you're interested, definitely check that out. I do classes, like I said, in person as well if you want to come and see me um i do two and three day kind of boot camp classes as well just me and you and i'm answering your questions demo on me i'll demo on you we'll figure whatever it is out um so definitely check that out what brings when am i accepting new clients i'm actually um accepting new clients right now for probably a short window of time um, I have been for the last couple few months. I recently relocated in my area. So with that, you know, there's some clients who don't want to make the drive, some that do. Um, so yes, I am taking new clients. You can book your appointment on my website as well, tapscottnails.com. And you can also get my t-shirt, my merch um, on there as well. Um, so definitely check that out, tap the 10 discount. Um, and you can apply it to a variety of things. Yes, come on, Kelly. Come on. Catch that flight. Book that appointment. I said tap the scottnails.com. There's a link in the description bar. So your one-on-one -on -one class, your nail appointment, your cool t-shirts, your merch. Um, if you just want to rep, you know, something cute, something fun, something quirky. New designs will be coming. Um, I said it, I did a little real, I don't advertise them enough at all, um, but I wear them all the time. This is probably one of the one occasions that I'm not, but I definitely wear them all the time. Oh, they're in Crowley. Yeah, come on. Come on, Kelly. Let's get you some cute nails. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out, you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions right now. I'll give it a couple few minutes and then we'll go ahead and exit so you know i can do dishes <laughs> any questions about classes shirts appointments um just something else i'm gonna speak now we're at 79 minutes we're going at 80. you got 40 seconds to answer that question, Hugh Jeopardy music. It's the remix, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Thank you. Is that brown eyes? I'm glad you're here. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, guys. 
what brazen sign you sign you up for what you want to sign up come on sign up i don't know what it's for but sign up oh if you had you, my question is if you had any questions before ask a daddle out of here <laughs> Oh, it's okay, Brazen. I understand. Hi, Anna. Boom. Okay. Let's see, now we're past 80. I'm just trying to wait. All right, you guys. So, the links to everything will be in the description bar. Come do your class with me. And you do not have to be licensed to do a um, class that is one day or less. So if you're trying to figure out how to do cute, good nails on yourself, you want some tips or tricks, or you want to cut through all the viral, fake kind of videos um, that show weird ways to do poly gel and things like that, um, you know, we can do that if you do and want to do like a two and three day class that's for licensed techs only just because why are you taking a two or three day class to do your own nails man nope nope you're not gonna trick me we need licenses to do nails in states that require them <laughs> so yeah definitely check that out like i said virtual or in person you want to take a cute little trip i'm in the dallas texas area um, it's a nice, cute area that I am in. Great lodging, lots of stuff to do. So it doesn't, you know, just have to be that. Um, but yeah, tapascottnails.com, dailycharm.com, discount code Tabitha10 on both websites. So, you know, pick your poison. You want cool art stuff. You want cool nail knowledge, cool nail appointment, cool nail shirts, whichever. So you guys, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate your time and yeah. Bye.